WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Monday, the 18th of March. We've got the Dow closing up 74 at 38,789. It was up at the 38,898 level, so it's kind of pulled back about 100 points from that. It kind of, they were buy, buying spurts, and they've been buying spurts for the last two weeks, even though we made an all-time high on the 23rd of February at 39,282. We haven't broken down. But I'm watching this closely. I'll just do this really quick now. Uh, this is what we're looking at for the uh, for the Dow. I'll do it right now because I'm going to be discussing it in my webinar coming up uh, this time, exactly this time tomorrow for subscribers to opening call. So you see the way that red candle there? You see the green line and the black line right there? You can see a little bit better there. If that turns pink, which it hasn't done since it crossed green back on the uh, 3rd of November, <clears throat> When it finally turns pink, there could be a bit of a pullback, and that's what I am anticipating here for the Dow. So in the meantime, let's just go back to our story. We've got the Dow up 75. The S&P actually had a very, very sharp move intraday, gave back some of it, but uh, still holding pretty well into the close, up 32 at 51.49. It's got a long way to go for that green line to go under the, the black line. It would have to break this key support level uh, in the S&P. That would be 5,076. It's at 5,149. Nothing to see. That the weekly charts are all very strong in the indices. QQQ. Let's just do that. Right now, the QQQ is up 3.30 at 437.21. It's arching over. I've drawn in that arch. And it looks to me like if uh, it starts to trade in the 435 or lower area, that green line is going to turn pink, and finally you've got a little bit of a sell signal that goes to a sell mode on the daily chart of the Qs. Weekly charts are still strong. IWM, the Russell 2000, um, was very weak, down $1.44 at 200.87. At Gold held very nicely. It's up 2.2. It's not breaking out, not breaking down. It's just holding above the nine-period moving average at 2163. Watching it closely, it, it needs to hold 2141 if there's a decline in the next couple of days. And it needs to spiral into the 2200s to really say, hey, I'm up and away. We'll see if the dollar is going to do anything here because it was up a little bit, up 16 cents at 103.58, 103 ticks. It's right at resistance. Looking at crude oil now, this is going to be really important. Crude oil was very strong and the bonds were very weak. Not good. So have a wonderful rest of the evening, uh, and we will see you tomorrow. Stay tuned to TFNN tomorrow. Great program. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour, 10 o'clock, and my opening call is a newsletter, and I've got a webinar coming up tomorrow. Have a